I thought you were being serious. Playing with my emotions, mate. Good morning, gang. How are we doing? It's another bright and sunny day here in Englandshire. Um, I thought I'd uh, do another video for you. It's only going to be a quick one. This is pretty simple, really. But I thought we'd have a little bit of a chat. Got a call yesterday from a lady, lovely lady called Tracy. And she said to me, Ben, can you help? My car's broke down and it needs to go to Grantham. So we are taking it to Grantham for her. So I thought, you know what? I know who I'll take along, not Malcolm. He woke up this morning, all right, grumpy kid. I don't know what's wrong with him. He's growling at the door. Anyway, I left him in bed. <clears throat> So he's having a sleep. Hopefully when he wakes up, he'll be in a bit of a better mood. Um, what else have we got to tell you? I went and looked at a car yesterday. Can't tell you what it is, because it's going to be a big reveal on the channel. It was beautiful. I fell in love with it straight away. Nice big heavy Audi Q7 going on the back in a minute. I can't actually remember what the problem is with it, but it's, it's broken down. So we are going to get it. Stick it on the back of Ronnie. Get it across to Grantham nice and safely. And then wait by the phone so how's everybody doing anyway thanks for all your suggestions of the cars loved it i've uh, like i said i have been looking at a couple and they it's pretty mad like and i'm talking the variation in price is like five grand up to i looked at one that was 41 grand that was beautiful mate absolutely beautiful so, any of you into motorbikes? If you're into motorbikes, any of you going to the MotoGP? It's my favourite time of year, absolutely. Favourite place in the world, Silverstone, at MotoGP time. I love it. So yeah, we'll have this, uh, we'll be there to pick up this Q7 in a minute. It's actually at another garage in Sleaford, and uh, they can't fix it. So, it's going to uh, another garage in Grantham, and they asked us to take it. So, yeah, so I will see you when we get to the garage. Well, we found a car. Found the car, it's got an injector blown, brand new car, well, no, it's not brand new, brand new to the customer. Oh, let's get you loaded up. on YouTube? Sure. Yeah. Say hello. Hello. Hi. Right, what's your names? Georgia. Ebony. Right, Georgia and Ebony of uh, East Midlands Ambulance, is it? Class. All uh, right, so we're all loaded up, strapped on. Now we're off to, there was a bloke came up to me, I don't know if you saw that on the camera, but some bloke was like staring at me and I was like, are you okay? He was like, yes, yeah, my car. And I was like, well, Jesus Christ, stand in the corner, like staring at me. Anyway, uh, so we're all strapped on, safely strapped on, big heavy car. That's why I sat in it when I was being loaded because also, you know, my mate Ian got my car, got my truck MOT for me. Well, for the MOT, he had to get rid of all the bits of wood, all my bits of wood and everything to step cars on. Uh, so at the minute, I keep forgetting to put them back on. So they're all on the floor and I keep forgetting to put them back on. So I'm hoping I don't get anything low because I won't be able to get it on. Anyway, uh, that's boring crack. Um, so yeah, off to Grant from now. Big shout out to all the NHS workers out there, you paramedics, especially in paramedics, they are like, crikey. I've been there when you think that everything's all on you, and then all of a sudden they turn up and are, oh, they're just incredible. So massive, massive shout out to the NHS and to the paramedics. Georgia and Ebony of uh, East Midlands Ambulance Service, doing a good job and you're having a well-deserved break. So enjoy your break. I was gonna to talk to you about very mild superpowers. Who's got a very mild superpower? Like, I've got one. 
I like to ask people this. It's kind of a question I like to ask people because they go, well, it's like they haven't got any superpowers. I'm like, no, 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 very mild superpowers. So like, for, for example, my one, I can always get a pen to work. If someone goes, oh, that pen doesn't work, I'll be like, hold my beer and watch this. I will make that pen work. I have multiple techniques to get a pen to work, from the flick, to the suck, to everything. There's loads, then it'll always work again. You'll always get a little bit more out of it. Uh, so what's your very mild superpower? There must be something you're pretty good at then. It's like a, you think, oh, I'm pretty good at that. So anyway, have a think, put it in the comments. Keeps us busy, doesn't it? Keeps you out of trouble. Keeps me out of the pub, thinking about your very mild superpowers. So yeah, let's uh, we'll head to Grantham now with uh, this heavy old beast. This uh, so this has got an injector. Injector number one has popped out of the engine. The guy had only had it a week. Bought it from a garage. Came with a warranty. I don't believe. I don't think warranties are any good at all. Uh, I'm sure some people have had a good experience, but I think warranties are a rip off. But. The, the, the garage that we're taking it to are prepared to honour it under the warranty, so that's why it's going to this garage. Um, the, where the de where the injectors popped out, it's also spat. You know where you get all that carbony, carbony crappy diesel that comes out. That's everywhere. So it's going to be a massive clean up. That you got all my gloves and my strap there. Uh, but yeah, so hey, as I always say, we are still breathing, we're still alive, we are not dead. So let's smile and wave, boys, smile and wave. Right, see you uh, when we get into Grantham. Don't do anything dangerous or stupid. If you're watching YouTube, you probably shouldn't be able to do anything dangerous or stupid, but just don't. Just don't do anything dangerous, okay? I've got your back. Right, see you in a bit. You can look out the front for a bit if you want. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. Do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight through the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two. here uh he's giving me like a, a really precise place he wants it parked which is uh always a bit of a test especially with this big heavy thing because i'm not gonna be able i'm not gonna be able to uh push it on my own with my bad leg so it's all gonna be down to my winching capabilities i have a particular set of skills so all right Right, I'm going to have to do that tongue out thinky thing. I don't actually do that, I don't know what to do. Uh, that's close. Right. Give me... Fuck it. Give me one of that. Right, let's see how this looks. Let's tell you what I've just seen, because I'm in the market for a new car. Look at that. I think that's like a... Is that a Mark 1 Golf? There. I was like, how much do you want for that? And he was like, we're going to have it for 50 quid. And I was like, deal, I'll put it on the truck now. And he was like, no, it's not mine, it's a customer's. He was like, boo, I thought you were being serious. Playing with my emotions, mate. Oh, clutch in for the PTO. PTO on, right. Right, I'll get this unstrapped, you don't need to see that again, do you?
might have just chucked my pin in. I'm trying to get out of that gap now. And it's just chucked diesel all over my bloody truck. Right, I'm gonna go and speak to this guy about that golf. See if I can buy it. Wish me luck. Right, so I might have, so a few things have happened since I last saw you. Uh, I've just dropped that car off and now I think I've trapped myself in this yard. It's about to get toyed. And I went up and I, uh, I gave, you know, I just said to you, oh, I'm going to go and speak to him about that golf. Oh wait, you're in the wrong setting. There we go, that's better, that's the indoor view. So yeah, I uh, said, oh, I'm going to go and speak to this guy about that golf. So I went over, I gave him a card, and I was like, hey mate, listen, um, if that guy ever wants to sell that golf, let me know. Sorry about that guys, I friggin' drove off with the customer's keys. Not good. So, I go and speak to the guy, right? There's a guy eating <laughs> for a mechanic. Oh, mm. careful what I say, because he was massive. He had hands like shovels. Anyway, <laughs> he stood there eating his yogurt and fruit, which is, uh, a little bit different to the bacon sandwiches and burgers and stuff I was eating when I was mechanicking. But he, uh, I was chatting to him and I went, Yeah, mate, I'm, I'm quite interested in that golf. If the guy wants to sell it, here's my card. And I gave him my business card. It's like the M6 here. Okay, let's try that again. Now that the carnage has stopped. I says to the guy, Oh, I'm interested in buying this golf, right? He's got, he's a massive bloke. And he's there eating his yogurt and blueberries and I was like uh, and he sort of stared at me a little bit weird and then he went I've just recognized your face he went are you on YouTube and I was like yeah and he went oh, I love watching your stuff I've watched everything and I was like yeah I've met fun I've met a subscriber guys <laughs> finally I've met one someone said to me I recognize you off of YouTube first time ah oh, I'm all made up anyway his name's Paul the fucking absolute top bloke because he's a subscriber to the channel. So enjoy your yogurt, Paul, and enjoy the videos. If I'd have known that, I was gonna take the camera over to film me asking, like, to give to give him the business card. And I thought, no, he'd probably rip the piss out of me from the camera, so I didn't bother. <laughs> and then he was like, oh, I love your stuff. That's class. Anyway, that's made my day, that. Right, so that Q7's dropped off. It's dropped diesel all over the back of the uh, all over the back of the truck, which stinks. But here's what it is, isn't it? There's a lot of fluids on the back of this truck. Do you know what I like to do? I like to like randomly nod at people, like you know her. Just be like, see how they react. I saw a thing earlier that was about uh, when you're interacting with other people and what you should do is everyone you speak to, so every interaction you have with another human, you have to look at them and make a mental note of what colour their eyes are, okay? Bear with me. And apparently in doing so, because you're looking so deeply in their eyes, it gives them a real connection to what you're saying so you can you can like use that to your advantage say even like I, don't, I can't even think of an example but like this isn't just about like chatting women up or whatever this is about like where every interaction you have with every human you should uh, you should apparently look at what color their eyes are and in doing so they will they will pick up on the fact that you are invested in what they're saying and they will probably be warmer to you or they will, if it's your boss, give you a pay rise. Who knows what colour their boss's eyes are? I don't, because I don't have a boss. <laughs> I am the boss, that's why I'm skinned. I'm skinned because I always make bad financial decisions and I buy stupid shit. But let's not talk about that. Uh, but yeah, anyway guys, I'm gonna, uh, I'm probably gonna leave it there because I want to put some tunes on. When I put the tunes on, I have to turn you off because I'll get a copyright infringement and that's just not on, is it? 
Uh, yeah, be well, be safe, move over, keep to the right when you see someone broken down on the side of the road. I tell you what, that's something amazing about America. In America, whenever there's someone on the hard shoulder, everyone moves over, everyone. I thought that was really good. We need to do that more in this country. So yeah, remember, uh, slow down and move over when you see big orange flashy lights, look after the recovery drivers. But yeah, if you are a recovery driver, keep safe. Uh, keep looking behind you. If you're not a recovery driver, also keep safe and keep over when you see a recovery driver. Um, I hope you're all safe, hope you're all well, hope you're all healthy, and I will see you on the next one. Cheers guys, thanks for your support. Like and subscribe as well, don't forget that. Make sure you share it, share it with your friends. Let's get those numbers up. I really want to get to 3,000, that would be amazing. 3,000, I'll do a giveaway. I will give out loads of t I've got loads of t-shirts to give out. So get us to 3,000 guys. There's only about 40 left, like 33 to go. Get us up to 3,000 and I will do a big giveaway. I will give all of you OGs some free gifts. So share the love. Cheers guys, see you on the next one. Don't look before you leave. What you give, you get to keep. So long, farewell, bye bye. Let's have a toast for those lost old eyes.